Navigating through the energies of New Earth is not an easy process and can become extremely overwhelming at times. As we all ascend into higher frequencies, we're all being guided to embrace our own unique divine pathway, a pathway created in the vibration of love. Join Vibe Nation radio host, international psychic medium, Carrie Turcott, as she guides her listeners to rediscover themselves by accessing the keys of knowledge that already exist within. Each week's show is divinely orchestrated to intertwine with the universal energies, allowing the listeners to go deeper within and understand the message being shared even greater. When you live in the frequency of love, there is no competition, so Carrie will be joined regularly by fellow soul family members who will bring forth wisdom and knowledge she knows should be shared on a global level. At the end of each show, Carrie will tap into the energies of the listeners to see what message Spirit wants to share with all those listening in for the upcoming week. If you really want to get to know who you truly are, come and join us now on Vibe Nation Radio, here on the IOM Radio Network. Hello, my friends, and welcome to Vibe Nation Radio. And today on the show, we are going to be talking about dreams and past lives. And I have a very special guest on the phone. Lisa, are you there? I am. Hello. Hello. Just wanted to make sure we're there. It looks like at my end you're not. So. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear me though. I can hear you. And Lisa's joining. Lisa Harlow is actually a dream soul guide and channel. And she's joining us today all the way from the UK. So thank you very much for joining in, Lisa. Thank you. So as we're getting started here, my friends, please know that this week is the third week of five weeks for the Twinathon. But today, with us talking about dreams and past lives, this is something that everyone experiences. It's not just twins. And Lisa is, does a lot of work with the collective, and she understands the twin journey, so she works with a lot of twins as well. So that's why I've asked her to come on the show today, because the importance of what dreams bring to you and how you can use those to be able to further you forward, is, and they, they start to bring you into past lives. So Lisa, please take it away and show your the world exactly what you know about dreams, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Harry. Um, dreams for me have been my main way of receiving guidance, and you know, since a child, um, always had lucid, vivid dreams. And it, it was probably about 15 years ago I started to record them. And it, with the recording process, you find that you can develop your complete own dictionary of symbols. And I was I was pretty blown away at the weekend, actually, because there was a dream that I had in 2009 that I'd recorded and suddenly realized a lot of the messages in that dream were coming up for me at the moment. Um, and as I was looking at that. Oh, look, we dropped Laura. Lisa, are you there, honey? Got to love uh it looks like she's been disconnected, so I'll just pick up until I can see her come back on. Sorry about that, my friends. Free your mind. Expand your soul. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Are you wondering what is really going on behind the news? Check it out. Join your hosts, Yelito Pasquale and Diana Gold Holland, on Share on the Air Radio for thought provoking views behind the news. Sundays at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern on Ohm Times Radio. You can also find us on shareontheairradio.org. This may be the message of hope you've been waiting for. Check it out. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Ohm Times Media. 
one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Ohm Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. Live with Medium Lisa Phoenix, mediumship messages and musings, explores mediumship and all things metaphysical. Lisa Phoenix invites you to reach above and beyond your everyday experiences to explore new dimensions in the spirit world. She will do live readings to connect callers to their loved ones in spirit, shares engaging stories and teachings from her own personal experience, and will have intriguing conversations with other mediums, spiritual teachers, and healers to help you understand the metaphysical world so you can connect to these forces in your day-to-day life. Join your host on this magical and metaphysical journey into the world of spirit every Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Feed your soul with waves of consciousness on Ohm Times Radio. Welcome back to Vibe Nation Radio, where today I have my special guest, Lisa Harlow, who is a dream soul guide and a channel. And before we went to commercial break, we were talking about dreams and we were going to come back and Lisa... You were, Hi. You, you were going to use some examples of some information that you got from some of the listeners that they emailed to you? Yeah. Um, and just before I read one out, I would say that um, recognizing when they're past life or not might be really straightforward because you can just see the historical context that you're in in the dream. But uh, I'm often shown that my shoes or my feet, as in past steps have taken, just mm-hmm. for things to look at. Um I've chosen this one because I think uh, this represents quite a common theme, um, particularly for the feminine energy at the moment. Um, I have dreams that are pretty terrifying to the point where I'm either waking up crying or burying myself under my husband for protection. My dreams are dark. I'm always I'm chanting in the dark. I'm drawing symbols on the street in front of myself and siblings for clear passage. Um, I have had friendly conversations with the dead and have had the dead float by with fear that I would banish them. And obviously this has brought out um, sheer terror for the the person having the dream. Um, And this really brings out a a theme of we've been thinking, particularly those carrying the feminine energy, of stepping into our power and really bringing forward our healing gifts um, rather than just, you know, following others, but standing in, you know, in our power. And I think that has brought up a lot of fear. Think of some of the things in this dream. It really probably signifies a lifetime where um, she perhaps was considered a witch or, you know, any of those sort of high priestess, astrology, medicine women, any of those where actually they're using using her healing gifts. And as we know from history, women were persecuted for these gifts, you know, um, torture, terror, banishment, you know, murder. So this will bring up the terror and it's helped. Although um, it, it seems terrifying having a dream like this, this, this is coming up to show how this unconscious fear may have been driving um, women, maybe in particular, to not come forward in their power, maybe afraid to speak their truth or use their gifts, you know, reveal their gifts to the, if you like, out there in, in the world more because of this unconscious fear of how they were treated when they did so in past lifetimes. Um, and actually, my advice for this is that it, it is being released by bringing it from the unconscious to the conscious. And it's actually a sign that it's probably time now to step forward and use that this, she does have healing gifts that are there and carried forward from her past life. And that to start acting with those gifts will help alleviate this dream and to almost work through it. Beautiful. Um, And I know that a lot of people right now are having difficulty stepping into their feminine power and, speaking their truth of who they are or their abilities that they have. And, you know, for me, you know, a lot of people don't want people to know that they're a medium or for my example, I have no issue saying that I'm a twin flame, but a lot of people I know do. 
And it just has to do with things that are going on in their life. And there's no wrong or right to this, my friends. Just know that if your soul is trying to allow you to step into your power, these are the type of dreams you might have. Yeah. You know, it's again, again, it's feeding the fear, right? So um, there's one thing I'm being told to bring up, and I did want to mention this. So I'll bring it up now. Those of you who are twin flames and you're having past life remembrances, I know dreams and past lives kind of go hand in hand at the beginning of the stages. But one thing I do know for sure. 100% from those that I work with all over the world, that when you have past life memories or soul memories of your beloved, usually what happens is there was a beautiful whatever you shared in that lifetime. It was beautiful until the dark came in. And then either one or both of you were taken down by the dark. But when you're actually having soul memories of soulmates, they might not be so pretty. <laughs> and this is one thing I've been able to help a lot of people go through their twin journey that to be able to distinguish who a false twin is, because I've never connected with anybody who their beloved or their twin is actually taken their lives in past lives. It's usually the dark comes in and takes them away from one another. How do you, how do you think about this, Lisa? I don't know who you've experienced and who you've been talking to, but this is something I've noticed is a big thing out there. Um, yeah, actually I was uh, uh, thinking more than, um, about the next dream I was going to bring up in terms of clarifying false twin. There you go. Go for because, it, sister. <laughs> well, I find that when people are in, they're not sure, um, they ask for confirmation that dreams are really good at confirming your, um, beliefs that you met your twin. And, um, I, I would just read through the next one because I thought, um, the symbols here are quite, you know, this to me is really confirming and how this this wisdom you do have inside of you and from being with your twin in past lives will be brought forward. Um, so in this dream, she is walking with someone um, down a pathway, but she wasn't quite sure who it was. Um, but this is at the time of when she felt she had met her twin but wasn't entirely sure so in the dream she's walking along the pathway just then a small white bird went flying um past her and she held her right hand upwards and it landed there for a second then it flew away um leaving her very happy and she describes the bird as one that they call the mayan bird and to me i just thought this was a beautiful confirmation in a dream of you are correct you this is someone you're walking the same path with um you might not be able to see their face but you know them of old you know they're they're alongside you on the pathway um and just the way she puts up her right hand the right hand being uh, the side of action um of doing and it's like the human hand meeting the birds and the symbol of freedom and spirit as well the purity the spiritual unity because of the white bird that flies and lands um and also that bird carrying the you know the deep inner wisdom and and then with it flies away i see that as part of the journey um though it might not feel like that way to twins at times but soaring to new heights with this spiritual unity um and the meeting in the physical with the bird being the spiritual and also the name so i always recommend like it with the name uh, maya coming up if it's not a significant name for you in your life i always recommend looking up what the name means for a starting point because that will bring you more information and also sometimes it can be quite literal so if you think of the mayan um culture as being one that being spiritually evolved from ancient times um, and also it, it can mean love in other languages and representing uh, mother goddess as well so I just thought I, I find birds are used for that sort of spiritual development and also the twin journey quite frequently look beautiful and and those that are on the twin journey again your dreams will indicate things and I'm being guided to share something with you guys that there was a dream that I had that was reoccurring and when I met my twin in the physical, then shortly after I had the dream again, but it kind of went up a scale. And what I mean is that the first dream that I used to have all the time is I was doing laundry. I was standing in some office building. I know I was on the third floor. And then all of a sudden, you know, there's glass area where there's an office and I see my, my twin coming out 
And this time in the dream, he was just wearing normal clothes. And he's like, hey, how's it going? I see you're doing laundry. I'm like, yeah. I get in the elevator with him and I get off on the fifth floor and he keeps going. And this is something that just kept happening over and over again. Then we connected. And then a month later, I had it again. But this time when he walked out of the office building, he actually had a basket of laundry too. (laughs) And when we got into the elevator... He said he was pushing the, the elevator button, and we didn't go to the fifth floor. We went to the top floor, which was the 200th floor, and actually got out and started doing laundry together. And the moral of the story, my friends, that was just a sign for me from higher self to say, before you were working on the soul path by yourself, but by now that you've physically connected with the person, that there's something taking place on a deeper level, and now we're both doing laundry, so it both it means that we're both clearing up that within our soul that we need to clean. Mm -hmm. And because we went from three to 200, that's a sign of ascending and we're sending fast. So I'm saying this to the listeners to let you know that a lot of times this information comes out just so that you don't go crazy as a twin to say, oh, they're not calling me. What's going on? So take a deep breath and the higher self is saying, don't worry about it. You're both working and you're exactly where you need to be on this journey right now. Yeah. Yeah. And just the, the numbers are really important because also had a dream shared um, from somebody where again it was this it was five hundred, mm-hmm. um, but they saw the five hundred dollar bills. Um, it was almost as if they became a, a stack of bills above the earth, and mm-hmm. then they condensed into a huge block and dropped into the ocean. And this dreamer knew it was going to cause a huge tsunami big wave of change that everything would be submerged and for me that is showing this journey of you know elevating the to the you know fifth dimensional consciousness and that it will everything will be submerged in it because it it's that massive ripple of change um so looking at the numbers seeing who else you're working with in your dream um Mm -hmm. all really important Absolutely. And so, I mean, I, they, they showed me the number of washing machines and stuff. I'm not going to get into that, but those were things that I did pay attention to in the dream. Okay. How many washing machines are we using? And, <laughs> and I had a spirit guide of mine, a friend of mine who passed away a long time ago. He was actually, he joined us on the roof because we were on top of the roof. We weren't even in a level. We were on top of the roof and he started helping me hang up clothes and stuff. So he was helping me, you know, as well, clean out my own soul. And he's a, a, soulmate, a, a soulmate, obviously, but he's a friend of mine who passed away, and we had a very strong connection. And it was just Hello. validating that he's helping. Hello? I think I lost Lisa again. Did I lose you, Lisa? See, goes to show you how crazy some of this is because I just lost her again. And we're about to go to commercial break, so when we get back, I will actually have her with me. But again, this is just when you have these dreams, my friends, pay a little, like she said, pay attention to the numbers, to, you know, whatever is brought to your attention like this was all about the laundry <laughs> and about picking up the laundry and clearing up the soul. So this is something that um, Spirit was bringing to my attention to say, don't worry about it. Everything's on its, it's on its course. So as you go through these dreams, my friends, again, don't allow the fear monster to come out and get the best of you during this time because that will... You know, that that's where the ego can come out and start allowing you to assume it's something when it truly is not. Are you there yet, Lisa? No, I haven't found her yet. So during commercial break, I will find Lisa. And when we get back, we're going to talk a little bit more about past lives and how they can affect with what's going on in your world right now. Stay tuned and we'll be back shortly. Bye-bye. Your conscious connection to a more mindful world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. The truth is, you can't change the world if you're broke. I know. I tried. Isn't it time you turned your life's calling into a profitable, freedom-based business? I'm Michelle Barr. Join me every Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern for Sacred Success. Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the Internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. 
Om Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single Om Times endeavor. Host your show with Om Times Radio Network. Hey ladies, do you want to have that good hair day feeling all the time? Gentlemen, would you want your special someone to have that glow letting you know she's feeling completely satisfied? This feeling and that glow can be yours by embracing your sexual power. So join me, Rachel Kenley, award-winning romance author, on The O-Spot. The O-Spot will guide you to that peak with guest interviews, book discussions, and conversations on the thrills of sexual empowerment. Put the zing back in your life. Come up and see me sometime on The O-Spot, live on Hump Day at 10 p.m. Eastern. The best of the holistic, spiritual, and conscious world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Hello and welcome back to Vibe Nation Radio where I have my special guest, Lisa Harlow. And Lisa, you're there, right? (laughs) (laughs) Spirit's kicking us up all over the place. It's kind of like dreams, my friends, in past lives that you're in the middle of a a dream and all of a sudden you get woken up. (laughs) (laughs) So... um, I just finished talking about the dreams and we wanted to talk a bit about past lives. So Lisa, please jump in my dear and take it away. Um, so, you know, I, some of my most significant past lives have brought to me the information through dreams, um, a few years ago and in a variety of ways. Um, I have to say, um, at first, the, the lives that they were bringing through were really skills and talents that I needed to be made aware of that I had and could make more use of in, in this lifetime. And the first one was a bit like a jigsaw puzzle to put the information together. But um, it, it was done by using people in my current lifetime to show what relationship mm. they had, such as brothers, etc., but their names were changed, so I could see who who my um, siblings were. I was also put somewhere around the world where the place name was incredibly important for me to understand. Um, and I I also now realise that it, it was relating to more than one lifetime. And together I was able to put that but um, and work out what it was telling me. But then I've had much more straightforward information in dreams where it was really obvious, you know, I was in a particular wartime scenario. Um, I was shown how relationship dynamics had formed in that particular lifetime that were now replicating with the same souls in this lifetime mm-hmm. so as a, like a bird's eye view on, on how the... Oh, we gotta love this. We lost her again. You gotta love the energy. See what's happening? We're talking about past lives in dreams and we keep losing her, which is really bizarre. So I'll bring her back in a moment. Um, it's when she's talking about these past lives that you're talk that bring you in. This is something that I notice as well that takes place when I start to have past life remembrances. It's almost as if, um, it, it, I don't want to say this. There's past lives, memories that I've had were in certain lifetimes that weren't too pretty at all. But when I turned around and I figured out who the person was that was in that past life with me, it made me realize why we did the song and dance in this lifetime again. So that there was more of, um, it allowed me to accept why I went through the, the song and dance this time around it was because we've done the song and dance many, many lifetimes, and now it's time to be able to cut free from that soul contract. So hold on a second here. Let me just see what's going on with Lisa. I can't even find Lisa. Um, so obviously the spirits are having fun with us today, all those that are listening in, because this has never happened before on a show with anyone. Um, so to are you there, Lisa? Lisa, it won't let me bring her in, which is very bizarre. So I'll just keep talking. But in these past lives that we start to remember through our our dreams, I noticed that this one past life that I kind of know from very beginning until the very end, that spirit didn't show it to me all at once. It was over about a two to three year course 
where there was bits and pieces that were given to me in this past life. And it wasn't until probably the, you know, two years later did I start to see who certain people were in this lifetime. And it was mostly those that were doing dark stuff in this life that it was like my soul was saying, you're not ready to find out who this person is yet. And when my soul was ready, it was revealed to me. So Lisa, are you there, honey? I'm back again. <laughs> <laughs> We're going, you know what? I feel like you're traveling in a past life or something coming in and out. Popping in, yeah, up and down. Oh, my. <laughs> so I don't know if you just heard what I was talking about, how I got snippets for years before uh, I got the whole, I really know this past life very well now. And I know this is a significant past life for myself and soulmates as well as my my twin. So... It's just when spirit shows you this kind of stuff, guys, don't get too excited to say, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, because there's usually more to it, especially if it's past lives, you'll pro probably start to get more snippets along the way. Mm. You know, it's, yeah. uh, especially if it's, if it's lower vibrations or dark, you know, they might not just throw it at you at once. They might, you know, sneak up on you. <laughs> 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 yeah. And, um, it, it was what did it help you therefore work out how to play the dynamics in this life knowing as you put it to yes absolutely. absolutely it allowed me to release some of the lower vibrations that i had been holding on because of certain situations that i had gone to through in this lifetime that were very dark but it made me understand why i went through what i did and allowed me to release it and be grateful for the experience yeah Right. Yeah. And I I was shown last week that a lot of those situations have been been released. You know, uh -huh. the the sort of ties to karmic situations, many and and dreams are such a useful way to to show that. And it just really helped me understand when I've had dark scenarios in this lifetime where that had formed from too. Um and like you say, to be able to either take a step back or to send it love and understand that it had to come forward so that situation could be brought to a close. Oh, absolutely. And for those of you that are on the twin journey, please know that, yes, you have soul memories together. But again, you don't have access to their psyche or their mind. So <laughs> just be patient if you're having these soul memories and especially if you have contact with your beloved because they might not be picking up on these soul memories yet. And it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to pick up on them right away. So just don't assume that your beloved knows exactly what you know, because again, it's when their soul is ready to reveal it to them, it will come. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And you, but I think you may find they might say things that you feel are code words. Oh, absolutely. But, but I, they, I, might, they might not be conscious of it. Yeah. But, but again, in dream life, they they can step forward and, and, and tell you things in, in that realm where you can have that, that kind of dialogue. Oh, yeah. And they can use social media. Like a lot of times there's people that I know that they'll say something to me and then the next day their beloved posts something on their wall that was exactly what we were talking about. Yeah. yeah. But that doesn't mean that they're consciously aware. It could be a subconscious. But mm -hmm. regardless, you got your answer through whatever they said on social media. So again, just be, I just feel that when twins are doing this and they're just to take the information you're getting for yourself and use it for yourself and watch for the signs and synchronicities that start to happen with your beloved because of those dreams. Yeah. Right. Yes, definitely. So, um, sorry, Carrie. No, go ahead. I was just going to say, I feel this week actually is quite an important one to also assist the process because, like you said, there are probably going to be a lot of dreams that happen anyway mm -hmm. with this information. But, um, you know, before going to sleep, just to have that affirmation that you will have a dream with, which will hold this sort of important, the information you need to know at the moment. Um about a past life that will be brought forward to you this week and then just make sure that no matter you know what time if it wakes you up and that you will wake up when you've had the important information that you record it at that point of course not all dreams are 
some of them are just a release mechanism, but I do feel like there'll be dreams this week that hold important keys for everybody as well. Um, and and to make a note of that. I mean, it might not be obvious initially what that means. I mean, if there's one thing I've realised is that dreams can have many... Many. See, she's, here she goes. She got dropped again. <laughs> this is crazy, and I have to say I've never experienced this on my show before, but it, it doesn't surprise me in any way that this is taking place because we're talking about dreams and past lives, so it's all energy that's taking place here. So we'll see if we can get her back. But she is talking about this week's energies and how you can use this to help you further along your sacred journey back to one. And if you're not a twin and you're listening to this, again, spirit's going to bring to you the information that you need to help you move forward. So you could be have dreams about soulmates. Um, and maybe it's a soulmate that you need to be able to release um, certain information about, you know, lower vibrations about or maybe the spirits are trying to tell you what you should do with this soulmate should you move forward should you because right now we're dealing with a lot of relationships and karmic relationships and it's like spirit saying is this karmic relationship meant to continue going forward and turn into a dharma relationship or is it meant to be able to teach you something so that you can move forward so lisa are you there yet honey now, it looks like I've lost lisa completely this is really weird never experienced this before but i think it's kind of funny and it speaks to everyone about how energy works. So I just think, Lisa, you just came back? Nope, lost her again. So as we talk about dreams and past lives and how they intertwine with one another, it's important, again, to take your notes, not to assume what it is that spirit is trying to tell you because Mr. Assumption can jump in quite easily with people and... Uh, allow you to assume what it is that spirit's trying to tell you. Lisa, are you there yet? I keep seeing, which is really cool because I keep seeing her coming on and off, on and off, on and off. So this could be something that a lot of you guys are going through right now that your dreams are turning on and off, on and off, on and off. I have to look at the scenario to why this is taking place <laughs> and why spirit is playing with us so big today on this radio show. So are you there, Lisa? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> there you are. They like let's bring Lisa back now that you've said what you needed to say, Gary. <laughs> Obviously, I wasn't supposed to say that bit. <laughs> well, they're trying to explain to you. You know, I think this is funny because it's all about energies, right? Yes. And we're talking about energies and how you can come and go. And what happens? I have you on the show, and you're coming and going, sister. <laughs> <laughs> so again. Like, we're not going to take this at, you know, this is, you know, this is happening for a reason. And that's how we love our soul family so much is because we all are the same channel and they like to have fun because sometimes your dreams and your past lives aren't pretty, but it's to teach you and to help you become a stronger person. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you're kind of lost for words now. You're like, I, 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 I feel like you're saying, should I actually speak? I might get cut off again. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and sometimes you don't piece together the symbols till much later as well. So yeah. um, that's why, you know, as I said at the beginning, having this record is, is so useful. And, and like you said, maybe you're not ready for the full depth of the, you know, you need some other experiences or events to happen before you really understand. Yeah. Um, and, one, and one thing I know as a medium is that spirit can't, in, can't interfere if you're learning a life lesson. It's something you need to learn yourself. So they might give you little snippets or pieces of a dream or a past life, but it's just to basically say there's more to it, but we can't give it to you right now because you haven't learned your lesson yet. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to a commercial break and when we get back, I'm throwing it out there that Lisa will be with me <laughs> we'll <try>. <laughs> and we'll, we'll tie it up for uh, the message that is for the week. We'll be back soon. Bringing a more conscious lifestyle to your world. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM. Eros Evolution is where sexuality and spirituality meets. Join me, clinical sexologist Martha Tara Lee, on Eros Evolution on Thursdays, 4 p.m. Eastern on Ohm Times Radio. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Ohm Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Ohm Times. 
Hosting a show on IOM-FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. What if living didn't have to be so serious? What if you could move beyond your problems with greater confidence and ease than you've ever imagined? Throw your labels out the window and join the irreverent therapist for practical tips and a very different way of approaching the changes you would like to create. Marilyn Bradford and Pam Hodling have empowered hundreds of people to come out of self-judgment, quit looking to experts, and begin to create the lives they desire. Join us Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern on The Irreverent Therapist Show. Free your mind with Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Vibe Nation Radio, where I do have Lisa still on the line. <laughs> <laughs> For the time being. <laughs> yes. Oh, don't say that, Swiss sister, because no. I'm just about to tap in to give the the listeners, the message for this week, which I know that you'll have more information for. Um, Spirit is telling me that they really want people to really put their energy in their wishes and desires this week, that to be able to keep them at a higher vibration, because there's a lot of family stuff, and it doesn't surprise me we're talking about this because we're talking about past lives. There's a lot of family lineage energy still connected to a lot of us that we're working through right now. And Spirit is saying, send us the message of love. And let us know who you are, because many of us, as we're throwing out these vibrations, feel like we've never been recognized for the person that we truly are. So as we throw these vibrations out, a lot of us might be thrown into past lives where we were not recognized for who you are, who we are. And they're saying, recognize yourself that you have these abilities, you have this wisdom, you have this knowledge that is within your soul. And if you give this message out to the universe, this is showing the universe in a vibrational match that you are standing up with adversity to be able to go into the past and then come back into the present with life altering moment information. And they're saying that this is going to, there's a lot of information that's going to come through in the next week, which will probably be an all. change your life and it could be just through a thought and you're like oh my gosh I get it and that allows you to move forward so remember focus on the wishes and know that family lineage is something we're all working on right now so what would you like to say about that Lisa and I think I lost Lisa again which is pretty crazy because again I, I can't understand why this keeps happening on this show because I've never gone through this with anyone else but it's kind of funny that it's all about past lives and this is what we're talking about lisa i can see you're on now are you there no she's not okay so um i I don't know if i'm even going to get her back on this show i don't know why this is taking place so with spirit saying this think about the linear energy that all of you are listening to anyone who's listening what kind of linear energy are you personally dealing with right now take a look around you and see what are you dealing with that could possibly be a repeated pattern within the family and see the common denominators there. They're also saying here that a lot of past life memories may stop you from moving forward. So don't allow the fear of knowing these past life memories to block you from moving forward. Are you there, Lisa? No, I see. I can't get her back. I don't know why this is happening. So, um, Please focus on your wishes and your desires. And, you know, they're saying here to be able to be appreciated for who you are. This starts with you. The love starts with you within. And spirit is saying that they want you to recognize yourself for that. So if you can turn around and toot your own little horn with what have you been recognized for in your lifetime? Accomplishes that you've made to be able to focus on that instead of focusing on energy of where you haven't been recognized because again we're going through a mass shift we're we're releasing lower vibrations that are still within us that are haunting many of us still so if you can put a little platform is what i'm saying i'm I'm seeing this i've got my spirit guides here right now so kind of create yourself a platform and go back and feel that you know what did you do when you were younger that you could use right now because they're saying in some way this is going to be able to open up the channel to be able to tap into the wisdom and knowledge that's flowing through us all right now from past lives. Lisa, are you there yet? I just want to check in everybody as I'm going through because it says she's on, then it says she's not. Then she says she's on, then it says she's not. So I'm actually having fun here at this end. And um, 
I'm sure she's not having fun with this. It's probably frustrating her all the heck, but maybe spirits doing this for a reason again. Nobody knows, but again, we're going to be, this is a life altering moments that are taking place right now. What kind of relationships are you breaking free of? What are your dreams trying to tell you? Um, what are the soul memories of past lives trying to tell you? Because again, at the end of the day, if you just kind of brush it off, um, you know, you probably will. It's like when I'm a, as a medium, if spirit wants to say something to me and they're constantly in my head and somebody's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. If spirit really wants to talk about it, I won't be able to let it go. It's the same with dreams that if you're trying to ignore what your dreams are trying to tell you, and I know a big one that I used to have all the time, and I know there's more to it. We're not going to get into it this show, but tornadoes. I used to dream about tornadoes all the time years ago. And I was running from tornadoes, and it wasn't just one. It was multiples, and some were bigger, some were smaller. I was always able to get away from it, but it's kind of the clearing of the soul that you're going through chaos to be able to release this. And it was to the point sometimes I was afraid to go to sleep because I wasn't sure um, you know, how many more tornadoes I was going to encounter during this, during these dreams. So, but it was really spirit saying to me, Carrie, pay attention. You need to be able to, you know, release that, which is the chaos in your life. And they would show me certain people in these dreams. But again, I never really gave it too much attention until I really started to fall into my, my twin journey, I would say. Lisa, are you there yet? Why do you keep popping up on my screen? This is really bizarre. And I, as I, as I'm sitting here trying to do the radio show, it's it's kind of it's kind of like they're it's like they're trying to mess me up to show you guys how dreams and past lives sometimes can play with people um, when the obvious is right there in front of you. And I'm sure that there is an obvious reason to why Lisa keeps dropping off of the show. But I'm going to still continue to try and get her back so that. We can, I don't even know where, so see, now my, my computer is doing some crazy stuff. So, and I'm just doing this to give you guys a little bit of a laugh because I don't know why this is happening, but, and now it's saying she's on. Lisa, are you here? I've just arrived. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like my computer is going crazy at this end. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a few more minutes why don't you tell people where they can find you and any last little words that you'd like to say since we've <laughs> lost you for the most of the show <laughs> i know um i have a website it's um dream soul guide all lowercase no gaps dot co dot uk also, you can find me on Facebook at Dream Soul Guidance and on Twitter as Dream Soul Guide as well. So um, you can, you know, find out about me doing some interpretation or like I was saying earlier, if you want more of a, um, I, I can channel information for you and have them and that sort of uh, relationship. So you can look me up. I also blog some information from time to time cool and did you hear the message that i gave for the week honey or were you kind of off at that point i think i got half of it maybe <laughs> okay so it's just basically telling people how going into the past can actually change their life in the present moment if they can let go of the fact that they a lot of they're saying is a lot of stuff coming through right now is not being recognized for who you are and a lot of it's connected to family lineage energy which would go yeah. with the past lives yeah so this week, focus on your desires, my friends. It's yeah. something that, and I know that when you have, if you could, even if you meditated, and when I mean meditate, you can just close your eyes and just, you know, think of nothing. You don't need to listen to the ohm and all that as well. That if you went to bed and just kind of quieted your mind before you went through with the intent that you're going to tap into your dreams, chances are you probably will have a better chance than going to bed with the monkeys yapping away. Mm -hmm. You know, that I would assume you would, you would, you would guide your, your your students or your clients do that correctly so that they should go to bed with a, a simple mind yeah and i often for you know inducing any guidance you want in dreams to you know meditation time before sleep to clear the mind but also focus on what you really want and and being in that power by you know knowing that you have the power to do that ask for what you want during dream time um as well and just the belief that 
it it will happen yeah. and and to make sure that you awake when you get that important information i do really feel this week it well not just this week but going forward that we must more and more listen to our own guidance you know really go further and further inwards and that information that will be brought through through dreams or from the past lives that like you said will be key in being able to move us on so it, it's moving further in rather than I mean it's good to listen to other people people that we trust and who resonate with us but that it's becoming our own guides yes that we, and, and that moving into power in that way as well absolutely it is listening to your higher self and what your soul is saying because again as we all start to shift um, you might go into a higher frequency where you understand something a little differently than somebody else, but it doesn't mean that other person isn't correct. It's just that you guys are in two different vibrations, mm. right? Yeah. So it's, and I, what I've got through the vibe report for those that follow the vibe report, this kind of uh, traveling with going within soul memories and traveling within your dreams and having vivid dreams it's something that's basically going to be going on now for, you know, a good five to six weeks. <laughs> so it, it, it never stops. As Lisa, you and I both know, you're constantly having dreams and they're there to help you. But you might have a lot of soul memories that start to appear until the end of July. Mm -hmm. So get those handy bandy uh, dream journals ready. Yeah. And when you don't understand what they're saying, look up Lisa <laughs> <laughs> and say, Lisa, I need some help, my dear. I need some guidance, <laughs> which is why we're all here as a soul family. And next week on Vibe Nation Radio, I'm going to be actually talking on the 20th, which is the Monday, which is when we always do the show. But that's during the full moon, the summer solstice. And we have a three day energy love cluster that is off the charts from the 20th, 21st and 22nd. And this is specifically with regards to the information I've tapped into for specifically twins. So next week I will have another special guest on and we're going to talk about unconditional love and how taking back your power and working with your heart chakra and knowing that you are worthy of what your soul is telling you and how that can move you forward. So that should be an interesting show. So Lisa, any last notes that you'd like to say to the listeners before we head off? We've got about another minute left. I guess just what I was trying to say before I jetted off again last time, um, that dreams can have so many layers to them and that, you know, when you've got your own dictionary and just when you think you have understood a dream, it could still reveal so much more to you, maybe a year, two years or, you know, several years on. And I'm just realizing that I was being given. See, and she just got dropped again. <laughs> Which is very interesting, my friends. Like I said, I've never experienced an Ohm Times radio like this, but it doesn't surprise me with what we're talking about that this is taking place because of the energy between Lisa and I. So I will put some information on my Facebook account as well as at carryturcott.com to guide you guys to Lisa. And again, next week, we're going to be talking about unconditional love and what does that truly mean at the deep of the soul level when it comes to the twin journey. And I can hear the music, so I'm not even going to try and get Lisa back. But thank you, Lisa, for joining me today. I'm, I'm sure you can hear me from wherever you are. I really appreciate it. And I'm sorry that the energy went off the way that it did. But as we know, at the, the, the embassy, expect the unexpected. That's what happens. Have a wonderful